day to one and all. Hope you're all doing well. So it's the same day for me as it was yesterday in my yesterday's vlog. <clears throat> I've just been outside. I put Dan's coat on because it's it's really cold out there today. Oh, just put that down. For some reason, I can't get warm today, and this heating ain't sort of copping. Well, I'll tell you why, really, because we didn't have it on all night, and I've only just recently put it on. Right, my job today drawers i'm going to show you my dirty drawers like i said in the last vlog I, i've really been neglecting things jp just came in to see the shower tray so embarrassed it's it's just so disgusting and then when we're looking in the sink <laughs> all right there's a bit of dirty water and some peelings down there but you know even my plug just everything it's all disgusting so i'm going to show you my dirty drawers <laughs> no not me knickers <laughs> so this is the first drawer dirty tea towels for a start they all need replacing and it's gotten such a mess because i've got so much in here that i'm just dumping things everywhere the knives and forks and everything ain't even going in the right place this drawer is the tea coffee sugar drawer just gotten out of hand we've got way too many cups so all that needs to go clean all the bottoms of the drawer out as well as you can see you know you get spices and sugar and salt tipping everywhere wash the cups up this is another drawer don't get me wrong it usually kind of looks like this even when i've tidied it but that that needs tidying and this drawer is just full of I don't know really what it's full of. They're all just sweets that we got given a little while ago. It's cereal. This is what this is full of. Loads and loads of cereal. So I need to, I for a start, I need to get through all that cereal to clear it out because I'm not, I've told Dan, I ain't thrown it away, no chance. So I'm gonna have to start working on having some cereal. <laughs> right, so first things first, it's my knife drawer don't get me wrong the whole house really needs a deep clean like i said the sinks probably the oven hob and the oven itself um showers and toilets and things but you know you can only do one thing at a time so first things first and believe it or not actually i do do this knife and fork drawer quite regularly regularly that's always a word i struggle to say <laughs> and um I don't know. It just always seems to sort of get like this. It's an absolute mess. And then you end up getting crumbs down in these trays, don't you? So, yeah, all this needs... Oh, oh that's broke. Is it broke, broke? Oh, I really like that. I really wanted that. Something I got off Timu. Ah, I think that's broke. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, yeah, so... I need to have a good clean starting off with this drawer <laughs> but the only problem with it now I haven't actually got any um what's it called um kitchen towel which is absolutely frustratingly annoying right let me crack on so I'm not being funny you know, I generally am quite, you know, keep on top of things, especially in the nice weather and that, you know, and you're feeling good and the weather's nice and, but, um, it just gets on top of you, doesn't it? I think it does with everybody. Come sort of a certain time of the year or whatever, you, you realise, oh my God, look at the state of that, that all needs cleaning, you know? <laughs> The only difference is, I'm willing to say <laughs> that my drawers are dirty. <laughs> well, you know, it's hard. And believe it or not, which some people do question, <laughs> question our job. Well, it is a job and it is almost 24 hour, hour job. So, if you're not editing, you're, you're always working being a YouTuber when, when you're putting videos out every single day. So that's when it becomes hard. 
But I am gonna just, I think this is the cleanest one, so I'm gonna use that to dry. And then that can go in the wash. Yeah, it is hard when then you're, tr you're full time sort of trying to video and vlog and editing and all this. I do need a load of new cutlery actually. I recently told you that one of the knives has snapped. But like I said, it weren't at the joint, it was actually down the handle. So, and I think we're missing a fork from the set as well. So, and teaspoons as well. Where do they go? I have no idea where they go. <laughs> so I've left them. Um, JP and Sat. Uh, JP. JP and Dan out there rabbit in but Dan ain't up for nothing I think he's gonna call today it and it's like what time is it 12 dead on 12 he's going back to bed and I said well that's not happening with me I've got things to do and I'm not I'm not getting up doing this doing that and then going to bed no chance so he can do as he pleases <laughs> Right, I need to get a few more wipes. Yeah, it's quite, quite potty. Could do a new one of these trays as well, actually. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it as such, but I've just had it for a long time. Getting a bit, a bit old and scuffy, so to say. <laughs> but yeah. I want to start now getting on top of and when I say all the spring cleaning and that I mean also like the decluttering in the house we keep sitting in there and talking about it and stuff and nothing's getting nothing's getting done it's it's all I'll, I'll be honest it's all getting a bit on top of me it's driving me a bit bonkers <laughs> so time to make changes so to say yeah, so Dan, I think he's calling it a day, and he said he wants his dinner, so to say, because he didn't eat his dinner last night. This is what I'm talking about, cooking. I'm cooking for him, and if, if it's not cold and old by the time he wants it, he's not then ending up eating it. And twice he's done that to me now in the last few days. Right. So as I'm putting everything in, I'm just going to wipe all the cutlery down as well. I don't know where these crumbs come from. <laughs> but they do seem to appear. Bit of a boring start for video really, isn't it? Me cleaning my drawers. You know. <laughs> But hey ho, I've got things to do. Right, let's just put some of that back in. I don't know what this stain is there. It's like a bit of rust or something. That can go back in there. That belongs down there. See, it's looking organised again already. Now these... I can't really remember where they live because they're sort of my big items. They live in there, I think. I think. I can't really remember actually. I put the spoons there. Now I've got these two gadgets. I've got a spiralizer and a lemon squeezer. I'm gonna definitely keep those. That needs to go back in somewhere. And my scissors. They just poke in down there. Right, so I need to get two clean tea towels for that drawer. I'll find a couple of nice, nice clean ones. A lot of my tea towels are gone, probably in the wash actually. But anyway, there's two nice clean tea towels. Put them in there. See, how easy was that, Mazzy? Just do it. <laughs> I didn't take no time. Oh, you know, that's much nicer now. 
Unfortunately, JP and Sammy got me this apron and it's been living in this drawer, but that's why it kind of got in in a mess as well because um, it was just getting too overcrowded. So I'm gonna have to put my apron somewhere else. Right, so let me just see if this is broke then. Oh, I really, really liked this. Ah, I think it's broke. Is it or does it just clip back together? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, it just clips back. Right, well I'm gonna keep that then. Because that was actually quite a cool gadget. <laughs> And if you haven't seen me use all these gadgets, go over to some of my previous videos. Oh yep, yeah, me egg, me egg circular thing as well. That belongs in there. Right, there we go. Good job done. That was mucky. That was actually mucky. Embarrassing. Right, this is the worst drawer. This always, even though I do this regularly as well. Can't say the words, sorry. Yes, it gets dirty in here. I've got too many cups, as much as we're appreciative, I just can't have all these cups. All these cups are going to need to be washing, those ones are. Um, God, it's knowing where to start with it, it's knowing where to start with it. I'll start with the, I'm going to start with the cup section, you probably don't understand. Right, so I'm going to start with the cup section, then this one, then that. The back bit is always kind of alright. I know that I, it's clean, but I it's just stuff at the back there. It's sort of e excess stuff. Oh, actually, I've just found another cup at the back there as well. That could do with cleaning out. Just for the sort of through of it, if nothing else, if you know what I mean. I didn't realise I've got, I've got porridge data on them oh there's loads of date porridge if i keep them out then i'll remember they're there won't i right so here we go that needs to go in the wash yeah this is a drawer i have to do regularly <laughs> <laughs> as you can see look, you get all like the tea coffee at the bottom so I do try and line it with tissue but that's got an all scrunched up this time and um, what was I going to say I don't even know what I was going to say <laughs> see got some pink Himalayan salt in the end haven't actually opened that yet because I'll be honest I forgot it was there yeah, I do try and keep a liner in this particular drawer just for the fact that when sugar and coffee gets at the bottom of these, it can be a nightmare to clean out. Right, I'm going to have to put you down and concentrate a little bit on these because these need serious attention. So that's all dried out. I'm just going to now wash the cups. Um, you're probably thinking, why are you putting dirty cups in your drawers? I'll be totally honest, whether it sounds gross or not, I don't like my cup washed every single day. <laughs> and I'm not the only one that does that. There's some weird things going on in this fan skin today. Yeah, I, I personally prefer my cup. I call it flavour. <laughs> call me gross, call, call me whatever. <laughs> Couldn't care. Couldn't care. That's how I like my cup. So, if you don't like it, you can go and wash your own cup. <laughs> but anyway, yes, yeah, so I've just calculated one, two, three, four, five, six, six cups. Six blooming cups for two of us. <laughs> and we only ever really used the two cups. So Dan's going to have uh, three of these now are his. So he's going to have to pick which one his favourite. Unfortunately something's got to give and not only that it, it makes the drawer heavy as well anyway so when we drive it and this it now and again does actually fly open very very rare but don't get me wrong it has happened um i think the last time it happened actually we were with jp and sammy we were traveling somewhere we had to stop in a lay-by and jp had to come in and rescue me because i was standing in the back holding the drawer before it snapped off its hinges like, you know. 
Right, let me get these dried. This cup I've had for so long. Unfortunately, it's got two little chips at the, at the bottom, but somebody gifted me that, and I can't think of your name. And but the it's gone kind of, I'd say weird, faded, so to say. And I just wish I could have could have another one. I'm going to use a clean tea, tea towel on them cups. Yeah, I just wish I could have had another one. Replace that because I love that cup. Right, so Dan's got to pick his cups then. <sighs> I will get rid of these too. I love these cups, but I don't seem to use them just because they're big as well. I can hold a proper nice cup of coffee in it. So, you know, I haven't had coffee now, and I was talking about it with Sammy the other day. Um, as some of you may know, that I gave up coffee. Um, well, it's getting on nearly a year now, and I've not had no caffeine since since the day I gave up and for somebody who couldn't live and literally drunk coffee out her rivals every single day I think I've done really well I've not even had a decaf coffee which I have debated whether to try or not but then I feel like am I then only going to get back into the um bad habit because uh, drinking coffee me for me turned into a quite a bad habit I'd say um yeah, will it, will it tempt me then to go back into the habit of having... I need coffee, so to say. I drink green tea now every day. Just green tea, bag it with water. Um, yeah, and I love it. It makes me feel well nice. <laughs> Giving up that caffeine. Don't get me wrong, actually. When I first did it, this, this cup has, is an exception because I put the teaspoons into that. Yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I don't know what I was saying, but anyway, I drink green tea now, <laughs> and yeah, it makes you feel an awful lot better. I didn't think I'd be able to do it if I'm totally honest, but I have. Right, so that's two clean cups. Dan's got to then pick a cup. He's got oh, this is going to be hard because he got that one from Boat Eds, this from the nurseries, this one. And actually, there is a cup missing. Yeah, he's got another one out there from JP. This one from a viewer this week. Unfortunately, I can't have it. I can't have it. We need two cups and that's it. Maybe a spare for a guest or something. We need one pint glass. So I will keep the pint glass. I usually use that for making um, gravy and stuff like that. <laughs> or packet sauces like that. That's another thing. You know, like that don't even belong in there. What? What? Why is that in there? <laughs> right. Next. Next drawer. Next drawer. Tea, coffee, sugar. Now these, <laughs> these are actually sticking to the bottom of the drawer. So I know now that this is bad. This needs really doing. This is what uh, it's been getting out of hand. Look. <clears throat> poking things in down there look that's not like me that really isn't like me i don't know really what's happened to me over the winter i've gone utterly lazy um and just literally neglecting not even just myself but me jobs and me home no big change big change right let me try and see if i can get these ones out these all need cleaning as well then a bit of, put a bit of spray down there. This is how I do it, section by section. It, it turns out easier. See, I've got two cups now in there. Dan puts his one in there, and then that should be it. Some of these spices I need to get rid of. <laughs> Although they're handy and they're full and everything like that, if I'm not using them, there's just no point in hanging on to them. It's, the spices are actually clogging up my drawers. So... Right, let me wash these down. Right, so I've done the two. Got them all clean. I did actually sort of try and tidy up at the back there as well. Got me hot chocolates available now. So that's good. Right, this is the worst drawer. This is always the worst drawer. <laughs> Put your hands up though. Who can honestly admit that they're 
their drawers and stuff have gotten out a little bit of hand or whether you've just recently done done things like this you know you're sorting pepper cupboards and your jar cupboards it needs doing every now and again doesn't it you can't get away with not having to do it right this is where i am going to be brutal with the spices i'm just going to keep what i want to what i feel like i need to keep so don't shout at me for throwing away good stuff it's just spices at the end of the day and you know if i don't want it that's it <laughs> what am i meant to do with them oh, right so i don't know what that is stuff like that actually is handy and i keep things like that aside they might have come out of like a, oh hot chocolate i remember getting that actually i put that in with my hot chocolate things that was a posh one for my hotel <laughs> yeah um what was i saying yeah they're handy anyway it's like they come out of stuff right so that's just all basically salt and pepper at the bottom of that but yeah be honest whose drawers also gets out of hand like mine all our drawers do come on <laughs> oh let me just place you there right luckily this one is the cleanest to get, uh, actually clean though because um it's not tea coffee and sugar at the bottom of it but yeah it's all getting there now and then once again that's hardly taken me any time <laughs> And I've got the two worst drawers done out of the whole four here. So the rest of it is going to be dead easy. Brilliant job. Give that a wipe down. <clears throat> All right. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Right. I do have to wipe my um, spicy jars though. They're just all peppery and stuff. Right, young man, you come here, right? We're having one cup each because it was getting too heavy, too overcrowded and a mess. You've got one cup out, and I don't care who you upset in the process because <laughs> some of these are gifted. One, no, 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 one cup. No, I'm not having one cup. I'm having them three. No, you're not. No, I am. I don't care about them two. I love them three. I know you don't care about them. I only put them up there for an example for you. I'm not keeping four cups. I don't you've want got four one, cups. I only you've got three. one out there. What's out there? The oh, JP one. I can't throw them away. They're all gifts It and doesn't nice. matter. I can't. I know they're all nice, but I can't keep four cups belonging to one person. It just, it can't happen anymore. This drawer's getting too full. It was getting too full, too heavy. And two over, it, it's just not happening. I'll I'll let one go. Nursery's one. Because I paid for that. But the other three I have to keep. You won't be able to buy another nursery's one anymore. I know. Get rid of the eggy one. You've had that you've had a good no, time no, with no, that. No, 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 no. Is that from Yeah, I know it's I know, I know. It, 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 unfortunately we're gonna have to upset a few people. No, I'm not. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. No, yeah, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. I you am. can keep it in your cupboard then. Keep it in your cupboard, darling. All you have to do is throw all that junk away and then they'll fit in. No, this is my spices section for salt, vinegar and peppers and oils and stuff like that. Yeah, but none of them are salt, vinegar or pepper. It's just all junk. Spices. No, I'm not looking, I'm not making room for six cups. You're not under grasping this. <laughs> He's not well, I'm pestering him. I'm not making room for, to, so I can squeeze 10 cups in there. You're having one cup. All right, so some of you might think I've been a bit harsh there. He's gone out now. He said, oh, I can't be doing with the noise. But literally, Dan has, been collecting enough rubbish around the place than it is he personally for one person does not need four cups so no he has to let go we it's not like we live in a house we live in a tiny little fan and it's it's just it's like the sheds out there it's it's everything it's just oh, i can't express it 
it, it's, it, it gets him down when he's in the mood for discussing it. But what he doesn't realise is it's all his stuff. So what he'll do then, which I'm sure you all go through this, when you're all deciding amongst your couples, um, it will always be the women's stuff that has to go in it. Well, you've got like, you know, two coats, but then they might have two lockers full of stuff. But rather than thinking of the two lockers worth of stuff, they're making me, he's making me get rid of my two coats. <laughs> That's what I mean. But anyway, I might be coming across a bit, a bit harsh. <laughs> uh, so oregano, I need that. Garlic granules, I don't, I don't really use that. Chives, I do like chives. Mixed herbs, mixed herbs and Italian. Coriander, definitely. Parsley, definitely yeah that might actually even be a brand new that's brand new hmm i might see if somebody wants it i don't know but i can't have it in my drawer um so parsley oh what are these oh they're peppercorns is this a grinder as well ah are these peppercorns yeah it's peppercorns i wouldn't mind i just bought a tub of them didn't even know I had those. Well, that's a bit frustrating. Maybe I could fill that up, but I don't think they allow you to take these tops off, do they? It's like a um, a one a one time sort of buy thing, in it? Right, what is this? Rosemary, absolutely. I, have, I always have my favourite spices <laughs> that I know just that I need. I need. Right, so there's two mixed herbs there. I might be able to tip that one into that one with much of it as I can so let's try and do that I'm not gonna get it all in oh come on come on do you know what I might do stick that in with the Italian herbs because it's only me that uses the Ital Italian herbs on my um, chicken anyway and I don't mind that so I'll tip the rest into that there we go right so that's two jars gone <laughs> right we're getting there um a cinnamon sticks now I bought these for Christmas to make some stuff brand new jar don't need them ground nutmeg don't need it hot chili very very rare I've used that so I'll get rid of that and turmeric, yep, that's always good. Oh, that's always handy. Right, so this is looking an awful lot better now. Um, I've got these. What is this? The Carolina chicken. Mmm. It's stuff like this where I, I do keep because... And what is this? Oh, these were the McCain's. That could go on some chicken or something. See, I'm doing it again. Do I really need it? I don't think I do, do I? No, I will. No, I will. Right, so there we go. That's the drawer done. Oh, got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of that done actually. There we go. That's my drawer done. Ignore that. I tried one day to super glue, <laughs> like some racks around there, and to have my um, doodars going up like that all the way around yeah great idea but it, it just that thing kept loosening and as we were driving the jar, jars would fall down right that's all the dirtiness <laughs> bit of rubbish and a load more rubbish and the table salt i will throw that away it's nearly full but um i'll see if dan needs it for anything but i'm going to throw that away because we're going to start using the himalayan so salt if i kept that that's still going to last us another two years it's massive so I don't need that right let me go and get a rubbish bag and third drawer emptied let me give that a wipe through it's just basically crumbs in this one not terrible give it a good then sort out see if I can find any more stuff for the trash there 
There we go. So that's all a bit more tidier. Uh, two tails can live down there. And um, my toaster lives in there. So the last one is cleaned out. But really, there's not a lot to go in this one, unfortunately. Um, it's just a matter of trying to get through it and eat it. <laughs> but there's no sweets in there though pop on them but they're they're for a video I think uh, cornflakes yeah I definitely need to try and get through this cereal two bags of crisps left over bag of those sweeties that don't belong in there. I was looking for that the other day. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you exactly when I was looking for that. When I made the pizza Yorkshire puddings. Pizza Yorkshire puddings I ended up making because I couldn't find that. <laughs> so the only other thing that's got to squeeze in there is this. And we bought this for when we go on holid uh, holiday, but like hotels as well. And it's just a pain in it keep you never get enough coffee so what I'm gonna do is bag them up I think it's gonna make less space nearly all out of kitchen spray as well how annoying because I didn't order any <laughs> right let's bag baggy up my coffees I think that'll just be easier I haven't used any of these yet mind But we found when we went to Tunisia last year, we were buying these like by the handful every, you know, few days. Turned out it was costing us quite a fortune. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, so apart from doing a little bit of tidying now, as you can see, all the trash and cleaning up the worktop, so to say, um, I'm going to call this one it for today. I didn't even realise how long this video had gone on for. All I'd done was clean my drawers, hadn't I? So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you again tomorrow. No doubt I've got more stuff to do. Take care. I love y'all. Bye! I can't leave it like that. I'm not that mean. Dan's now got three cups.